since you said it and you said it to me that you're going to give me that house, I believe that you're going to, and I name it and claim it. Not that you're naming and claiming something that doesn't exist, but you're naming and claiming something that does exist. You're bringing it into fruition because it does exist, just not in this realm just yet. But when God finally does what God does to give that to you, then it will be visible and it will be accessible in this realm. So you can name and claim things that God promised you. It's not exactly naming and claiming it, but what it is is that you're saying, you're reminding God, saying, God, you promised that, so I expect you to fall through since you promised it. So with that being said, it's not an every message thing that you just... Seven steps to your wealth and prosperity. Five steps to your wealth and prosperity. How to become rich and millionaires. How to be blessed by God and get anything you want. It's not in every... Where in that in that example did I say that you need to be free from your sin? I didn't. I said seven steps, five steps to wealth and prosperity. And I said, get anything you want from God because you give. Now, nowhere in there does it say you need to be redeemed from sin. So, with that being said, the preachers that are out there, some of them are stu- some of them are good, but some of them are a little iffy because they that's what they speak about and that's all they speak about. And they, you will never hear some of them out there saying that Jesus died for your sins. So you need to be free from sin. Instead, they talk about how you know you God wants you to become rich and famous. And gorgeous. No. Yes, God wants you to have money. Yes, God wants you not to not to starve, go hungry, or sec or or lag. Yeah, lag, or lack. I should say, because the Bible says that God is the Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want. Meaning that God will meet every single one of your needs that you need. So. In that aspect, that's what God wants you to do. Now, God does not want you to be so lucrative rich that you can throw a million dollars at people three times a day and it doesn't phase you. And you're over there going, well, look at me, I'm rich. Because then you won't need God. But God wants you to have money. He wants you to have nice things, a nice house. I got a podcasting kit for 200 bucks that God gave to me. It's got a microphone, it's got a headphone set, and it's got an interface mixer that allows me to hook it up into my Chromebook and allows me to podcast with better sound. So God wants you to have these nice things. But God wants you to be faithful to little. And then when you're faithful to little, he'll give you the increase. So with that being said, you can name it and claim it, but he's, but it's only what God promised you to begin with. So he's not all about that name and claim it anymore and speaking about how God said to give $777 because God's number is seven and all this other garbage that preachers out there try to portray because of, and they, they twist the words just a tad bit to say, well, yeah, God's number is seven. So I really do got to give $777. And they go broke over it. I'm not going to mention any names. I've done that before, but I'm not going to this time. But he's out there doing a good thing now. He's out there got, you know, different messages about the Holy Spirit and how to receive the Holy Spirit, what speaking in tongues actually is, and all that stuff. It's not all about money, 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 give, give, give. You know, like, you know, if you give to my ministry, you'll you'll receive the Holy Spirit. But he's not all about doing that as well. So with that being said, it's good, and I'd like to have him on. There's a couple people I'd love to have on the show. But Gordon Moat possibly will be coming on, and... The gentleman from Jimmy Swaggart's ministry in the 80s, Pastor Dudley Smith, will be coming on as well. So with that being said, let's get into a few brief announcements. Number one, and I know I say this, I don't want to repeat this, but there are some people who absolutely love doing this, but go to communitycloud222 at gmail.com, spelled C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y-C-L-O-U-D, 222 at gmail.com. Guess what you can do right there? You can, number one, send me all of your prayer requests. 
even if you just want me to shout out to you on the podcast, I'm your first name, your city, and your state. And I'll shout out to you on TGIF, where Jesus does most definitely and ultimately comes first. Also, to let you know you can call me at 1 302 448 8443. Again, it's 1 302 448 TGIF. Also, I want you to be aware that we have changed our times for Worship Tuesdays to Worship Saturdays. So now Saturdays at 6, we'll be doing Worship Saturdays now because of my job situation and Tuesday not being free. So look forward to Worship Saturdays. The original, what I wanted was Worship Saturdays. And now that I got some music going on, we are going to be doing Worship Saturdays now. So with that being said, enjoy the worship again. But enjoy it on Saturdays, not Tuesday. Also keep in mind for the rumble, where we'll be shaking the heavens, rattling the earth, and rumbling against the principalities of darkness and evil. Back in the day when boxers used to box or fight, they were what? Rumbling. The Bible says we don't rumble or fight against flesh and blood, but of principalities of darkness and evil. We'll take one day out of the week, preferably at midnight. We'll do nothing but pray, 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 fight, 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 rumble, rumble, rumble. Now, why at midnight? Because darkness likes darkness or loves darkness. Therefore, darkness comes out at midnight because midnight is when it's dark. So, here's the thing. When you put a night light into the room, you turn it on, what happens? Some of the darkness is dispelled. When you put another night light into the room, more darkness is dispelled. Finally, when all the lights are turned on in that room, darkness is completely dispelled from that room to a totally different one. So what that means is we're going to display God's love in prayer, not just for us, the ministry, but for you guys, for your prayer requests, for the government, the military, and everyone else. And we're going to pray for God's protection over the United States, us, the ministry, you guys, and everyone else. And when you do that and display God's love through prayer, you're dispelling the evil darkness. You're dispelling Satan and his evil minions, and you're dispelling them to a totally different area, and you're you're basically rebuking them out of somebody. So with that being said, we're going to take one day out of the week, preferably at midnight, and do nothing but pray, 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 fight, 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 rumble, rumble, rumble. Also, download the new app, Podcast Portal, new from PGIF on exclusively on Google Play and the Amazon App Store. That's P-O-D-C-A-S-T-P-O-R-T-A-L. That's P-O-D-C-A-S-T space P-O-R-T-A-L, Podcast Portal, from T- from P-G-I-F, where Jesus does most definitely come first. Now, what can you do on this app? You can listen to the show. Not only can you listen to the show, but you can make... Any f- any comments you want to with a free Spreaker.com account, that's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com. Again, it's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com, free Spreaker.com account. And you can make all the comments you want. Not only can you comment on the show and listen to the show, but you can contact me or connect with me through Facebook, Twitter, and email. That's right. Go to the bottom right-hand corner email button. looks like an envelope. Click on it, click your email client, and then click always. Your email client would be Google, Yahoo, or whatever. Click always. And then when I come back, now click always, and then when you go and click on that email again, the email button, bottom right-hand corner button of any page, looks like an envelope. When you go to click on that button, what will happen is it will send you directly, because you click always, it will send you directly to that specific email and then when you direct you to a specific email, you just click that button once and you're automatically sending an email to community cloud two 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 at gmail dot com. And you don't even have to I don't even have to don't even have to go spelled C O M M U N I T Y C L O U D two 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 at gmail dot com. Just click, click, and you're done. And then type in your message. It's that easy. So go download the app. You can listen to the show. Make all the comments you want are free Spreaker.com account. That's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com. You can uh, connect with me through Facebook, Twitter, 
and email right straight from the app. Also, you can listen to the three play buttons, which is 95.5 The Fish from Cleveland, Ohio, and KJIC out of Texas, and my former church, Evangel Christian Church's homes of Dr. Jerry and Cheryl Piscopo. Now, if you don't have a home, let me say this. If you don't have a home, Evangel will be there to stretch you, to pray for you, and to just be there for you. So if you don't have a home, please feel free to stop in and visit and see what they are like, and let them know you heard about them from TGIF, where Jesus does most definitely come first. So not only can you make listen to the show, make comments with a free Spreaker.com account, it's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com, not only can you listen to the three play buttons, but you can all connect with your Facebook, Twitter, and email, but also listen to the three play buttons. Not only can you do that, listen to the three play buttons, but you can also do a Google search result. If you need a question answered, and I'm not available at that moment, or I'm in the middle of the word, and you don't want to disturb me, then you can just Google search whatever topic we're on. If you need, we need information, say about Lazarus, you need more information, just say, just type in more information about Lazarus, Lazarus, and then it'll tell you the whole story about Lazarus and how, you know, those, uh, and, uh, not only can you do all that, but you can make comments and all that stuff, but you can also listen, make a Google search result. And with that being said, you can, uh, search any information you want to, if you need and some help, if you need some help with whatever topic we're on, just go to the bottom of the play buttons, click on the Google search bar and type in your search result or type in your search query and then hit go on your key virtual keyboard. Do not hit the actual search icon because it's blocked by the email button, but click on your, your go button on the actual keyboard and then it'll take you to your search results. Straight in the app, you never leave the app, you listen to the message or the music that I'm playing on the show or whatever you're doing on there. You stay in the app so you're continuing to do what you're doing through that, but you're also making a Google search result as well. Straight from the app. So that being said, download Podcast Portal, spelled P-O-D-C-A-S-T space P-O-R-T-A-L, new from T-G-I-F. T-G-I-F. Thank God it's forever. Jesus does most definitely come first. Only exclusive on Google Play and the Amazon App Store for right now. We're working on getting it on Apple later on. But Apple wants to charge 100 bucks a month to be on their App Store. Also be aware I'm going to be download I'm going to be also uh starting a Twitch stream as well very soon so you can go there and donate right straight to the, at the donate button as well. But with that being said, download the app. It's not for me, it's for you guys. I like when you download it. It's great. But download it because it's it's my way of encouraging you each and every day. Whether it's through the music that I play or whether it's through the music that, you know, the play buttons that I have or the messages that I personally preach to you from God or it not. Or whether it's just our communication together or whatever it is that encourages you each and every day, download the app. It's my way to encourage each and every one of you each and every day of the week. So download the app. You're going to love it. And there are going to be more features coming up real soon. But download that app. You're going to absolutely love it. With that being said, that does conclude our announcements. Let's get into a song, shall we? Let's do let's do Mansion's Melody by none other than Dr. Prophet Larry Orell. Enjoy Mansion's Melody. Yeah. 